All right, hey, Blood Dads, we're finally here at Culver's. How do I know? Because I'm sitting outside in the dining area, and right here, you make it yours. And I'm gonna make it mine a little bit later on, but let me go ahead and show you. So um, up here in the upper screen, you can see, Blood Dads, that um, there's the coupons uh, that I uh, was able to get um, free meals. Now, is that a normal thing to get a free meal at Culver's? No. Um, for the top one, uh, it was a free meal, um, and how I got that was by accident um, or on purpose. So one of the things that I did was I did a video on uh, a milkshake earlier in the summer after we went to the Springs. I talked about the Gainesville, Gainesville Culver's and um, touted the, uh, the the pumpkin spice milkshake as I was riding down the road drinking it. Um, I posted it. As I posted it to Culver's, next thing you know, I get this um, Facebook message saying, hey, we love your uh, your videos. Let me go ahead and, uh, or let us send something to you. I have no idea what they were talking about, so I sent some, they, they sent it to me. It was around Christmas time. I opened it up, it's three coupons, and one of them was for, um, uh, one of them was for a, uh, a dessert. So I'm getting that dessert a little bit later, but, uh, earlier last week, so that's one part of it. Earlier last week, I met the owner. His name is Tony Marchese. Um, it was earlier in the week, I was doing a video. He comes out, um, after I'm done with the video, all of a sudden he comes up and he introduces himself. He scared me, by the way, <laughs> because there was really nobody here, and this was prior to really opening, and they were training. So as I was putting all my stuff away, uh, next thing you know, he goes, hey, how you doing? It scared me, but uh, we had a conversation about how Blab Dad uh, goes around and does videos um, and knowing that Culver's, this Culver St. John's was opening on Monday, uh, next thing you know, he hands me these coupons and say, here, uh, it's on us. And uh, sorry about that, I gotta connect with something. Um, he said, hey, this is on us. Uh, and it was a, a meal coupon for for something like this. So I read the back of it and it's like, oh, it's for a burger or whatever. But um, I, on the back it said, some kind of meal, either whether it's a burger, chicken, and it said a six piece uh, shrimp basket. There you go, there's a shrimp basket. I've never had the shrimp basket here. Um, I mainly go after the, the burgers because the burgers are so delicious. Um, I had it way back when in 1997, back in Oak Brook, Illinois, and uh, now I'm getting the basket. So along with the basket, Nate dropped it off for me. And um, so you get some cocktail sauce with that, and obviously you get your ketchup. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it right now. This is gonna be one of two videos, because uh, the second video that I'm gonna show you is uh, gonna be that uh, free ice cream um, that I got. But let's go ahead and open it up, the, the cocktail sauce, and uh, let's try the uh, shrimp basket, shall we? Okay, so I've been waiting all day. Um, I showed my students this. I showed the teachers this, uh, the videos, uh, to let them know about, oh, it's a little windy. I want this to knock down. Uh, the, the videos that we've been doing um, about, this, about the Culver's uh, in the local area. So we did get Jacksonville was open two weeks ago. St. Augustine was open last week, last Monday. And today is the grand opening of the St. John's um, Florida uh, location. Now I asked Nate who dropped off my food. I asked him, hey, how was it this morning? He goes, it was pretty busy this morning. And so when I got done with work, I asked, so how is it right now? And, and actually it's, it's slower than I expected, but that's good for me so I can get in here and be able to try the food and show you what it's like. So anyway, there's nice, big, crispy um, fried shrimp there. Let's go ahead and try it. What? <laughs> That's delicious. Wow. So their headquarters are in Wisconsin, and I'll tell you, they cooked it just right. It's just crispy enough. And even with this wind, um, I can still feel it being um, nice and hot. Mmm. That's delicious. So that's the shrimp. And their fries are always good. So let me go ahead and open up the, the ketchup. Now, 
literally right in front of me. So this is the seating area. There's about six. Let me turn it so you guys can see it. Sorry about that. So here's the seating area. There's about six outdoor seating um, uh, tables. And then to the right of me, in front of me, over here, is the uh, is the drive through And um, it's been steady ever since I've been sitting here for the past, like, five, ten minutes. So people are ordering their food. And um, uh, the Culver's employees are coming out right around, you know, in front of in front of the, uh, the fencing here and dropping off the orders. So they're waiting patiently and, and they they wait maybe a couple of minutes. I haven't seen anybody wait longer than like five. So they're pretty quick. Um, the staff isn't as packed as I saw it in Jacksonville. Um, there's a moderate amount of staff back there. But again, there's probably some staff that I can't see. Let's go ahead and try those fries again. Or for the first time at St. John's location. Mmm, very crisp. These crinkle fries, I love crinkle fries. They're just about the right size. If you get the shoestring si uh, uh, fries, like from some other places, you could barely like taste the potato. It's just all crunch. If you get the steak fries, it's too mushy on the inside. So when you get a crinkle fry like that, just the right amount of crinkle, just the right amount of um, um, softness on the inside. That's really good. Really like that. So as I'm sitting here, looking at the traffic right now, remember this is just a re some, somewhere around like 3.30. And um, it's not quite dinner yet. It's not quite obviously rush hour. So this is a good time if you're if you're coming to a Culver's that's just, just opened, um, to come here somewhere around this time before it gets busy, um, which is right now to my benefit. So this is the first of two videos. And um, again, we're here at the St. John's location. Let me go ahead and show you. Oops, sorry about that. There you go. You can see through right, right there in the window, right over there, the uh, reflection. But uh, yep, I am at the Culver's right there. St. John's, this is 210, County Road 210. And uh, off to the west over there, that's 95. I would probably say we're about 100 yards from 95. So it's a good, oops, sorry about that. Still trying to understand and work the gimbal. So again, it's not far from 95. Um, I'm not quite obviously in Jacksonville. Now the one in Jacksonville, you gotta go to the west side. You literally have to take 95, 95 to 295. That goes over the um, um, that goes over the bridge, and then you gotta go down 295 going north, north slash west, and then get off at Collins Road, Collins Road in Paramore. So it's on the west side of Jacksonville if you live over there. But if you're traveling down 95, um, out of the three locations, this is the closest to 95. The the St. Augustine one that I went to um, last week. Um, I thought it was by the outlet malls. It is not. It is literally located um, on US 1 south of 207, County Road 207. So it's in St. Augustine, way, way in St. Augustine for those folks. So this is the most accessible one that you can get to off of 95. Just a little FYI. All right, everybody, if you like the Black Dad videos that you're seeing over here, again, here at opening day at Culver's, St. John's, Florida, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Ding! Share, share, share this information so everybody can come down and enjoy Culver's here in St. John's, Florida. All right, everybody, so let me go ahead and get finished with my meal. And then we'll actually go inside. We'll go ahead and get the dessert, and um, uh, we'll show you the inside uh, of the restaurant itself. All right.